Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, it's been a long intro, um, but we're now going to join um, up with all the YouTube viewers, and we're going to play the Crendorian Invitational Final. This is our um, first ever season of the Crendorian Invitational, and we are playing against Bretonians. Um, we've got 150k to spend um, inducements, so we will be buying a wizard, and we're playing off against 1500 Bretonians. Um, for those of you who've just arrived on Twitch or um, didn't see earlier, this is the Bretonian team. Uh, it's um, looking pretty good. That's the player we need to worry about, and we will accept the invitation now. Now I did check with the admins earlier, and I am allowed to spend the 150k, um, so I am going to buy myself a wizard, because he's going to have one anyway, so wizard wizard just levels things up a little bit. <coughs> and he's got 580 of other inducements to spend. Dolphar Longstride, Zara the Slayer, all the star players are coming out to play. Um, Kittens, it, it turns out it's not scumming because he gets the money as well. And he's gone with a bribe. Ugh. And a babe. So he's got 14 players, I think. No, Griff. No, I thought he would go Griff. Uh, how have you got to 2K TV in one season? Um, all those vanity passes. Oh. Ah. Bayman Apothecary. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost, it's, the scummy behaviour is the, um, so he's got Wizard of Dolphar, Azara, a babe and a, an apothecary. Um, it's when, if you were the underdog and you've got 10k, yeah, let's say you're 10k under, but you've got 150k in the treasury to spend, you get a wizard, they don't. I, that's how I describe, describe, describe scumming. Um... Is that your serious answer, or do you read your skull whenever you could? What do you mean? Yeah. So that's Dolphar, and that is Zara. She looks like she works out. Um, 30 game. No, no, no. Um... A season's 11 games and I think there were three playoff games. I think I've played 15. I think, Panda. I think. I think this is a 15 game old Dark Health team. Hello, Arendar. How you doing? Um, I think we'll defend here, I think. Yep, yeah, we'll defend. Okie dokie. So, let's have a quick look at Dolphar Longstride. Um, he's got pass block, kick off return, kick, Hail Mary, interestingly, a diving catch. And then Zara, the um, legend, has got bludge, dauntless, stakes, stab, and jump up. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> How much tackles he got? He's only got one, hasn't he? Yeah. Do you know, considering this is the last ever game with this team, when this Witch Elf leveled up, I kind of wish I didn't take Mighty Blow with her. I kind of wish I'd taken um, a normal skill, uh, like Wrestle or something. the sidestep on the line now. So where's his one turn? His one turn's on turn 16, isn't it? Yeah, his one turn's on turn 16. So his one turn's on 16. Do I want to put that on the field? 
really. Although it's... Mm, let's leave it on the field. Oh yeah. Oh right, contact. Yeah, yeah, Erin I'll bounce you a um uh my email address. I need to have a look and see what other content I've got from the um from the World Cup. Did you see the um the the pitch uh I think it was a vampire coach, I think he, he finished top vampire uh at the World Cup. He had the pitch um that was about sort of yay thick. Um so instead of a normal pitch just being like a piece of paper thickness his pitch was about that thick from the uh, table to the top of it. Um, and it was a light show. Yeah, the glowing one. Yeah, yeah. Where you are, hello. And how you doing? You showed it on the first day. Did you see it working, though? Because I think when we saw it, it wasn't actively, wasn't actually active. Today's work up video was great. Yeah, he took more. He took a lot of content. Um, I uh, I did. I went a different route. I took pictures of people I was playing against in the rosters and stuff. Um, I think Sage got the drop on me on that one. I think it was a, a better way of doing it. And I will do it for the Euro Bowls from now on. It's a good idea. So, <coughs> right, how's he setting up? He is setting up with Dolphar on K. Interesting. Yeah, watched how he's good. He, he just um, because he doesn't have block or dodge, or it's critically he doesn't have the three court or the two core skills um, of dodge or sure hands um, he's a little bit of a liability if you base him because oh it's a two plus yes it's a two plus with a loner um, which is a problem and I think the two plus with loner uh, is is why I don't like him with um, he doesn't have pass I don't think he has pass no no he's got all the like He's got loads of weird skills. Diving catch, uh, Hail Mary, kick, pass block, kick off return. So he's great at trying to catch balls and stuff. Um, but, I, but he is, you know, he's just, he's just an odd player. He is just an odd player. He has got Hail Mary pass, but he only hasn't got, he hasn't got pass. So if he rolls a one on it, he fumbles. Uh, you're playing for Wales or your um, Europeans in Poland? Uh, playing for um, my own team. Are you uh, you playing for Scotland, Mark? Ooh, turned out nice again. I always think a zunk when he says that now. Ba ba ba. Ooh. Oh dear. Wow. That is a roll. That is a roll. So he's down to two re rolls. We can start applying a little bit of pressure. Got one turning left to define the final places. When do you guys decide um, the final placings? Who's on the LLS? Oh, it's um no, he's got um, Zara on the line of scrimmage here. Where is Dolphar actually? Oh, he's benched him. Wow, he's benched Dolphar as opposed to um, having him on. Hmm. Okay. Stab, not stabbing. Stabby McStab Stab. Uh, 
Um, there's only one logical place to sidestep too, which is there. Um, and then he's got two dice with this. That'll throw his easy defense. Uh, what what race are you gonna play? I I think the Eurovol is it's got a it's a bit of a janky set of rules. It, it's it's I haven't looked at Pro Elf, but don't Pro Elf look very strong? Elf basically kick everything out to bonus. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. So he's created for himself a little pocket of space that he can run down here. Um, and we need to go and put some pressure on. Otherwise, if we just stand here as a little group of players, um, we have a problem. Pro off, high off. Yeah, Necro, got, yeah, third low Necro did get nerfed. I'm well disappointed with that. That was going to be my race pick. And they got fucking hit with a nerf back. Well upset with that. Yeah, they lost a skill. Um, if you pick... Um, I am going to choose to wrestle here, because otherwise my play gets taken out and I look a bit silly. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Well, we need to go and put some pressure on that. I want to do that move because that opens up that flank. Um, we'll dodge you away. What are we going to hit? That's got to be the first question. Can we get all the way? No, I can't get all the way around to hit both of these. Um. That's got dodge, so it's gonna be if it's gonna be three dice or two dice, it's gonna be on that. Uh, uh. We need to get you a little bit further forward, but I don't think we can, so I think you need to be stood there. And it's a case of punch that in the chops, but I don't think we can get an easy two dice on that. One, two, three. Where's his frenzy? There, movement seven as well. Yeah. There's no easy, no easy strikes here. All right. That's going to win when I'm hit now. I'm going to go after that. Which might surprise some of you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I'll do the blitz. Actually, do I need to blitz from there? I think. I'll just blitz there. I don't. I don't actually want it pushing sideways. So I'll just go blitz there. Right. So blitz. Don't follow. Oh god. Killjoy being um, up in everyone's face already. I'm gonna put you there. And then 
absolutely going to send you around the top. There we go. I'm surprised that wasn't an APO. I'm really surprised that wasn't an APO, considering he's got two APOs. Um, and we've picked on a relatively important player. I say probably fifth, sixth most important player in his team. Um, I think it's more important than this guy. I think that's important, that's important, that's important, and then it's the two guard. <laughs> Pig safer, yeah. <laughs> um, it did. It, it did feel a little bit like um, the uh, uh, every dodge was a was a one, and then I, I did get um, punished, fortunately. I expect to see a lot of pro elf, high elf, wood, dark. Didn't Bretonians also get um, a buff, McNaughton? Someone sent me a, a table um, with all the different, um, like, whether people got, um, this is the World Cup rule set, total skills, and then whether you got more or less because of Euro Bowl. Um, humans were down, Necro were down. Um... But some of them were up. Have you seen that table? I don't know whether or not someone who put it together. Have you? Has anyone got a link to said table? Thurnlow, you, you know what we're talking about, I think. Have you got a link to it? Anyone drop it into Twitch chat? Because then I can have it open and I can use it as a frame of reference. Oh, it's Danish chat. Okay. Uh, Canabo, welcome to the show. So... Just talking about the Blood Bowl for a, this Blood Bowl for a second rather than the World Cup and Euro Bowl for next year um, for a moment. What we were looking to try and do in this in this turn was bring the Blitzer um, forward so we've got a wizarding threat. Uh, so if we get the ball, I've now got scoring threat. Um, we've brought the Edge 5 player and the Movement 8 player who've got the most range and I push them forward and then I respected his ability to charge down the field. Um, and although he didn't leave himself a scoring threat, he could have got quite far down, um, and I put some players in the way there. The guards have stood together, so unless he wants to blitz on the diagonal to go away, dodge away from tackle again, not a very appealing idea, um, they are generally okay-ish, um, which means that the best player for him to blitz probably is a sidestep or um, this guy. Um, oh, Wolfmuller, six months. Thank you very much. Um... Wolf was like six months in a row. Thank you very much. Brett's get seven. Yeah. That's what makes them strong. If they had eight, they'd be insane. <laughs> this game's tense. It's um it's like a small dice bag. Very tense. <coughs> you seem chill. Um the best, the best piece of advice I can give anyone if they're playing in a final or anything uh, is not to, to play... Um, go, go, Davo. Kirwax, thank you very much. Uh, is to play the game, don't play the occasion. So, just see what happens. Play the game. If it starts going wrong, it starts going wrong. Uh, going for the three-man, McNaughton. Definitely three-man. Without a shadow of a doubt, I'm going three-man. Um, it is a small dice bag. If you guys want to see the smallness of the dice bag, I have got one here. Um, I just need to fold it out. <coughs> um, and it was amazing in the World Cup. I enjoyed it. It was great. It contained two teams, um, a small child, um, a pram, a pushchair, um, four light snacks. No, I'm joking. It didn't contain any of those things. Um, that's the t-shirt. No, no, that was the... Um, um, that was the dice bag. Oh, here comes the ball.
So choices, I've got I've got multiple choices in this turn. Um, we got a um, a mighty blow smash on uh, on Zara, which would be quite nice. Um, or we can try and unlock the centre of the board a little bit. Um, and I think this turn, um, it's all about trying to unlock the centre of the board. That's what I think it is. Because I think we can get some pressure through there. So, stand you up, stand you up. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Do you know what? It might not even be that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. It's not. It's not really that appealing. I think it's appealing to get a tackle on there. I don't think it's appealing to do the to do the doing. So I could go one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, yeah. I think this is a turn we'll put some some serious pressure on. Where are we going to put you at the end of the turn? Let's see what happens with this. We're going to put some pressure on. But only if this is a knockdown. No, it is not. It is not. Um, that is a shame. That is a shame. So we could have applied quite a considerable amount of pressure at that point. Um, but it is not a knockdown. Um, oh, wow! Someone bought a mug! That's amazing. Thank you very much. We like the mugs. I can't protect this against getting hit. So I'm not going to try. I think we'll um, we will just solidify our. Um, we'll solidify over here. Right. In that case, hello, are you walking? You are, aren't you? Hello. Look, she's just holding on to my finger. Yeah. Hello. Um, most of you probably won't care, but um, uh, we've been teaching Emma to walk quite a lot uh, today and yesterday, and um, she's mastered the um, the help of only walking with one assisted arm. Um, so we think she's going to be able to walk properly all on her own very soon. Which is going to be amazing. That is wearing these weird, this weird thing on his head. Right, where are we going to put you? We'll have you. Oh no, we won't have you there. That's that's a silly place to stand you. We will put you there though. I think we'll, we'll just stop at that, I think. Ah, Thurnley, thank you very much. Um, there's the link to the sheet. Apologies for the, um, apologies for the massive link that we've just done there. Um, we can't have the image. Yes. Good for taking that same voice. <laughs> uh, tiny, yes. <laughs> you realise her walking is the worst thing ever to encourage. Well, we're moving on uh, on Friday, so I hope not. <laughs> right. Well, the ball has committed itself. Whoa! Steady on, soldier. Oh dear. You're gonna make a walk to the new house. Yes, 
Um, we are going to make a walk to the new house. It's three miles. Could you rehost it with you? Uh, negate, yes. I have no idea how to do such a thing, but if you know how to do it, then that would be cool. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. I read it as a question. So if you know how to do such a thing, then that would be amazing. Were Necro really that good that they needed a nerf? Um, no, they weren't that really that good that they needed a nerf, but they were ahead on other people on other things. <laughs> uh, no, just to the pizza shop, uh, Jenny. Just the pizza shop. That's another thing. Um, Where's our guards? One's there. Where's the other one? Oh, it's there. That's a shame. <coughs> that is a shame. It's a shame that's stunned as well, because that could have been pushed into there, and then we could have had lots of fun. But never mind. Never mind. Um, Ronin. How you doing, Ronin, by the way? Oh, Jenny, are you away still? Oh, is it day two versus World Cup rules? Oh, oh, because you wouldn't get your day three normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes a lot of sense. That that makes actually makes quite a lot of sense. So, right. Um, this turn, there is... Um, there is what's known as a discovered chain push on. Um... So we're going to we're going to try and get rid of that. That's the objective this turn. Surf that. So first of all, we need to make it so it's very difficult for him to do anything. Um, Start filling in the squares. Oh, God, are you in the way? You are in the way, aren't you? I'm worried about this. Uh, one, two, three. So I think I almost think I might going to commit. I might commit one of these. That's cool. Down you go. So that now creates the uh, conditions for uh, said chain push. I don't care whether you uh, follow that or not. There we go. You get to go and stand there. <coughs> and you get to go and play in the hot dogs.
Ugh. Oh, I should have taken I should have taken the next minute or so just to think about that for a second. So what's he gonna want to do? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think you actually do re-roll this. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> no, there was a weak point in here as well because of the stun. Hmm. Um, if you guys want to know how you see that, it's it's actually not not that difficult. Um, if you uh, want to open the VOD for a second and stop watching live, what you could do is you can see the basis of it here. So there's three players here and there's, there was a player here. And what I'm looking at, there's a T-shape. And because there was a T-shape, it meant that this guy could be pushed into this one. Well, that one goes there then. So the whole thing was all connected together. And all you needed to do, all you needed to do, was to be able to fill in some squares. And that's what I went looking for. And that's sort of the how of you working it out. Um, and there's what no one says. If there's, is, is there a player three squares away? Is, is there a chain? Uh, if there was, there is a surf. Yeah. It's sort of the broad brush strokes of the strategy. Yes. Hello, Baz. You've 18, you don't want to score yet. Uh, you won't want to score yet, no. And what we've, we've removed two off the field. So we're now type 9 versus 11. Um, so he, he won't want to score. Um, but what might happen is he might have to score. Although he is just repositioned to go back in the middle. Good news, we get the strength four back this turn. Better news, we get to go and have a look at this. There is a surf on um, on Zara, but it uses up far too much resource and it's not worth doing. Oh, yeah, Martin no, Norton's just said it. So the way to do it, you fill in these squares here, blitz from here, push into the witch who goes sideways, and then you've got a nice domino effect along here. The problem is that I'd have to use these guys to fill in these squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, go for it. He'd have to get out of the way. I mean, you could get this guy around. And I could probably bring the strength four around as well. But if it doesn't work, he wants to come over here next. That's where he wants to come. And I'm not sure that's the place. If this works as well, yeah, there. Yeah. Never mind. I don't think Deidre knows around at the moment. Um, he's not very well. <laughs> I hate to find what anyway you want to do with Andy. Um, look, there's a time and a place to surf. Hang on, what? Did I? Did, did I just say that? <clears throat> you've still got to fill in these squares then. If you're going to do that, you've got to come this way. I do actually want to boot Zara in the chops. Um, because she's a really giant pain in the arse. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I could do that. And that would actually put tackle on Zara. 
coming on the diagonal. Came in on the diagonal, you could get Zara to here. Haha! <laughs> Someone else bought his and Andy and Zunk mug. Woohoo! Like hotcakes. Right. Let's have you there. You round here. Um, Sidestepy one there. We're going to bring. I need a tackle over here for sure. Um, probably going to dodge you away. And I think we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, whack, push, push, whack, push, push. I could do it, I suppose. Could do it. Right, which means you need to come someplace else. So I need you over here. That gives me a nice a nice base of tackle over here. You're actually doing a job there. Let's go after Zara. La la la. Dear, Dodge is not set to ask. Oh. Can't believe they're not a dodge set to ask. Two plus to get rid of Zara, and then I can bring you around the top. Yes. Go away. I can't believe that. Oh, did you have a way of doing the same thing, McNaughton? What was your move? How did you... How did you... Oh, yeah, it's going to be difficult to talk about it now, but... Um, how, how did you see that working? I wrote it above, I'll show you later. Alright, let me go and read it. <laughs> now you sideline witch to blitz Zara across the face of the other witch, then push along. What have you got? Nothing. Okay, so you, you we opened with the same move, um, but you will have achieved it. Did you achieve it with less players? Yours was fancier, but used more pieces. 
I would like more to move. Should have been done with two less McNaughton's way. Oh wow, all right. I will be going back and revisiting that at some point. Oh, was mine, was mine the more complicated way of doing it? <laughs> oh, of course it was. If it was a simple way of doing something and a fucking 28,000 step way of doing something, I will have found the 28,000 step way of doing stuff. So I, moved, I used one, two, three, four, five. I used six players in that push. Uh-oh, down he goes. Is this the turn? Where can you reach? I'm only going to have three viable players. Okay, a ball carrier. Okay, ball carrier. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Oh, I wish the edge five was not on the other side of the field. That is a real shame. Um. <coughs> oh god, being a move bust is a pain. That's got to be the blitz. That's got to be the block. And it's just a case of probably, probably putting the ball relatively safe. And I'm hoping no intercept happens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, go for it. So I can throw it. I can throw it six squares from there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I could throw it to about there. So let's bring the ball carrier. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Right, and if the ball goes upfield, it's a twat of a thing for him to have to deal with. So let's do it that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Oh, that's the move. That's the blitz. Fill in those squares. Oh, you, uh, no, just fill in that square. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obvious, really. Yep. Um. We, want, we actually want pushes here. That's not a fucking push. Damn. Oh well. Ah. Uh, bollocks. 
bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Let's bring the edge five across just in case. And we'll put tackle on that. Oh, that's really annoying. That, however, you need a juggernaut witch, yes. <laughs> A development. Yeah, or to die John, which is handy though. Yes, agreed. Did I roll a bunch of sixes? It felt like I did. Yeah, I didn't use a reroll as well. The most important thing I think about that turn, other than it working, but from a strategic point of view, you know, first of all, I was looking at it and having it here, um, and I, I changed my mind, and the reason I changed my mind was because um, if the ball is knocked over and is recovered in this sort of area, um, then he's likely to be able to go and score. If, however, the ball is recovered over here, um, it's much, much more difficult for him to do anything. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm saying it's more difficult. Uh, show the dice. Oh god, yeah, there's a lot of green, isn't there? Four, four, six, 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 two, five, five, four. <clears throat> yeah, they were awful dice, Andy. Yeah. Uh oh. oh what was that? Is a go for it, surely? Ball is deposited gently, carefully, and smoothly on the floor. Um, how how do you overcome the first few matches with the open skills? Um, I need to learn the open bullshit. Um, try not to play much open bullshit in the first few turns. Genuinely, is the is the move. Um, right, where can I get you that's relevant? So that's quite a helpful square to go be in. Because she's interception, she's intercepty, and she is um, picking up the ballie at that point. Right. We've got two dice Replay. there, two dice there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want a blitz there. We need to knock over there. So the guard. Oh man, we need to deal with this problem first. Right, in that case, deal with that. Follow that up. Deal with that. Notice I didn't want to stand in this square because if we don't get the knockdown here, um, I don't want to be basing the ball with an extra player. That's fine. Should wrestle. I'll actually have you there, I think. Better square for you to be in. Sidestep it goes there. Shame about this. I'm going to have to leave that. Blitz. Follow. Keep tackle on this player. And now we can go and try and attempt to pick it up. Um, 
Is it worth one dice here? Could you be of any use anywhere else? Well, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. I think I'm going to disengage at this. Because that locks these guys out a bit more. So now these guys are fully locked out of the game and he's only got two players to do anything. Whose drive is it? It was a Plutonian's uh, drive. <laughs> Cyclone, did you sacrifice Duncan to Nuffle in order to win the game? This game's not done yet. Um, this game is by no means done. He's, he's only several bullshit rolls away from um, making this. So. Erin how do you... Oh, you've already, I've already answered that. Cool. I've not missed anything in the chat. Good. Zunk's online on Discord. Okay. Yeah, he'll be around soon. <laughs> oh, God. Andres replied in, in Spanish. I can't read Spanish. So. We'll talk about... Because um, this is actually quite an interesting game. I will talk about the World Cup um, versus the next Euro Bowl. Um, maybe at the end of this game. Or if there's any sort of quiet points in this game. Um, I wondered from his point of view whether or not it was worth him lobbing the wizard at this and then dodging and blitzing. I don't think it is because because I don't think it's it's viable. I think he might end up using his wizard to try and stop me scoring rather than doing anything else. Yeah, even if he wizards he doesn't recover. Yes, I agree. So I think I think I wouldn't wizard but um, I can see some people might. What I do want to do is get the ball off um, Killjoy. Because if he does wizard, I don't want him getting smoshed in the face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's your friend and mine. It's Zunk. The hunk in a bunk. <clears throat> Hi. Hello, Zunk. How you doing? Whew. Wonderful day at the office. Um, I'm all right. Good. Negate says I'm on Discord mode. I always am, mate, because it's on my mobile phone. We were morning. How's your dad? Mark, how about you? Sorry about the rugby. <coughs> uh, Dimmy, what is San? Ronin, hello. Cyclone, hello. Jenny, hello, Flower. How are you? Oni Goku, <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Shogun Stu, hi, mate. Uh, Wolf Mother, hi. Bob, hello. Sick as Eggs, hello. Pink Sofa, hello. Blackburn, hey up, lad. Hydra, hello, bud. Panda, hi. Bob, hi. Flash, hi. Ham, hi. Woodard, hello. Andy, hi. Oh, right, yeah, just thought you'd casually drop me in there at the end there. Well, I don't want to leave you out, mate. That would be most, um, yes. So, have I had a reply from my rebel opponent? Oh, I have. A bit late. Oh. oh, God, he's offering me Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why can't people just offer normal times? Tuesday, 7 UTC plus 2. So, what's that in normal time? 9 o'clock at night? Mm, we're UTC plus 1, so it's minus 1, time, one hour. What? Were you... Hang on. What? Yeah, I know, but what time is, what time is 7 o'clock UTC plus 2? I don't know. So, that's 6 o'clock. UK time. Right, well, all right. So I can reply. Um, right, what time do we start streaming on uh, Tuesday? Because I'm on an early shift Tuesday. You are. I'll be back, I'll be back home by about six. Oh, wow. Um, about 
Uh, seven or seven, something like that. How, how about, uh, so 7.30 our time is 18.30 UTC. Yeah. This one. Eight, sorry, 18.30 UTC. Brackets 20.30 UTC plus two. Yeah. Calendar says 8 o'clock, uh, 7 o'clock. It does at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Right, so 7, 7.30 our time tomorrow, yeah? What? Tomorrow? That's Monday. Tuesday. So hang on, half seven. Half seven our time, Tuesday, yeah? Half seven our time, Tuesday? Yeah. Locked right. in. Last sent. One. Sent. It's sent. I'll add it to the calendar. Thank God. Adding it to the calendar. <laughs> oh, hang on, it's the wrong week. Hang on, Tuesday. What? Hold on. Edit. Uh, time. What? Oh, God. Aegis has been injured. Oh, no. It's fine. Hang on. Zunk. Rebel. We're going to win this one. Sick of losing. I'm bored with losing and losing and losing on my team and losing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So, there we go. Rebel, 7.30 tomorrow. Done. Our time. Our no, time. 7.30 our time. 18.30 UTC. 20.30 UTC plus two. There we go. On Tuesday. Oh, God. He's fouling now. Tuesday. Half past seven. Our time. This game's a big deal. It is a big deal. Oh, whoa. We're playing this one. Hold yeah. on. Oh, I missed the first half as well. Yeah, sorry I'm a bit late working all that. That's all right. DD search. Don't worry, I had you covered. It was actually quite a good, um, a good thing. Are we winning? I've still got my thing on. I've literally walked in and <coughs> on. Oh, and I tell you what else I'm work I'm wearing. Well. Yes, folks. For the simple, easy price of twenty-five dollars. You can have a T-shirt with merch. <laughs> uh, on it. Well, you're not going to believe it. We uh, two people bought a cup earlier. I've got one of those as well. Yeah, your other cups turned up the other day, by the way. Is Vark the Destroyer dead yet? Uh, he's not on this team. I just saw Burtz and thought, oh, he's a thrall, isn't he? Yeah. Right. What we're we doing? We are doing the grand final. The grand final. You should watch this, everyone. The grand final. Pig sofa of bought one. The Grandorian. Inv I've got. I've actually got one pig sofa, and they're exactly as you would hope. It's a mug with that picture on it. It's marvellous. You can drink tea. You can drink coffee. You can drink orange juice if you want. Oh, King Casimir the Third of Poland. Fun fact from Mark McNaughton. Did you know that Varg is Swedish for wolf? <laughs> I actually think the cups are, of all the merch we sell, I mean, the t-shirts are a bit sort of amusing, but the uh, the mugs are actually really good. They are genuinely really good. I am surprised. The t-shirt's absolutely fine. This mm. is fine for t-shirts, what I thought. Mm. But the mugs, the mugs are actually exceeded my expectation. Oh, pig sofa, I can't wait to get my little figurine of me. <laughs> Is, Char is Charlie Banks all primed to paint it for me? Uh, he is, yeah, yeah he's ready. He's awesome. On. Black and white strip, like, you know. Yeah. You can, you can wee well. There's a link below. In fact, so let me let me link it in the I love chat. The dice tent. Jenny likes the dice, dice tent, dice bag. Jenny, can we please call it dice bag? Please. please. No, Jenny, Jenny's already had many a fun weekend in the dice tent. Probably. But they're dice bags. They really are bags. Tent. <laughs> we were. Here you go, son. There you are. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Hang on. Well, I copied the link. It just didn't copy it as a link. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. The dice Hindenburg. Oh, bag. Hold on. Hold on, man. Hold on. Here you go. Attempt number two. There you are. There's a link. 
I saw somebody in the chat was saying it was it was absolutely darling watching me as an old person failing at technology. Amongst my friends, uh, I'm deemed technological expert. You know, if it, if it was like this, if it was like a film and we had to sort of crack some code or hack something, yeah. they'd be looking at me. Oh God! I'm the, that, I'm the one that they go, Dave. How does this work? So you're about it's an age thing. You're about as good at technology as I am at naming different films, right? Okay, we have to play to our strengths here. I use a PC. I'm very good with Excel and Word and PowerPoint and Outlook. Do your VLOOKUP table. It's just some apps are a little bit uh, confusing. <laughs> I hope there is a clip of that going on. Oh, that was ace. Do you want to go down that path? Do you ask yourself... Do I now ask yourself now, now, now. When you say, "Do I want to go down that path?" It's not quite. The Don't same. do you? No. No. Why have we? With there's what? somebody else streaming this. There better not be. Now nah, we've got this covered. This is our intellectual property. Yep. Oh no, they're not. You think somebody else would stream this? This is really important. <laughs> well, that's basically an insult. Right, how's it going? Dead elves. Uh, none! Richest T knocked out. Whereas you've got, oh dear, McQueen is knocked, is dead. He's, it's worse than that, he's dead, Jim. Hello, Hellboy! How am I with Google? Yeah, fine. Bowling green clubs near me. Where to buy a nice cardigan dot com near me. I know I can do that. And then you get directions. Show me how to get there. Mm. It's not 25 quid for my miniature. It's 25 euros. Unless you're a two year subscriber, in which case it's free. It's free. Free. And not only that, but you get discounts on other Grebo miniatures you make on the same order, I believe, Andrew. Um, probably. We were. What does a normal Grebo <coughs> large big guy miniature cost? About 25 quid, isn't it? But this one's of me. Oh, hang on, I forgot to do the sign effect of um, you scoring the touchdown. Oh. It was... <laughs> that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you nailed it, yeah. Yeah. What, have I showed it to my mum? What, the, the miniature? Figurine. The Grebo thing. Um, I've shown her a picture of it, but yes. She was... She was completely mystified. So what's all this about? She doesn't really understand the stream, never mind the miniatures. Oh, God. Didrino, good evening. Is he here? Somebody mentioned him. I don't think he is here, no. Well, I don't see how roast beef and your, all the trimmings could possibly trump this, which is probably what he's doing, to be fair. Jenny's pre-ordered both. Thanks, Jenny. What I'm hoping is that people will play ogres at tabletop and order six zunks to be there. <laughs> they won't do that. I can make a decent Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition figurine. We were. It's a matter of priorities. If you haven't got twenty-five quid to spend on this, just cut back on the kids' food, and you'll be fine. I like these chicken nuggets, and I like this miniature figurine. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Weather's turned. Oh, it's fine. Well, that worked out. That couldn't have That couldn't have been much better, I suppose, a fizzle. But next to a fizzle, that was about as good as that was going to get, isn't it? it well, it, it's it's drawn out the wizard. Um, mm. He was milling around on, along the sidelines. Mm. And now... Drawn, drawn out the middle. Yeah. Now we well, exactly, it's Jenny. It's an ideal D&D... I mean, it could be a Chaos Warrior, it could be an Ogre. 
That's the main hero. The, the, no. the hero no. of the tale, main protagonist. Can be anything you want. It's flexible, you see. Oh, nice. yeah. well, if you were playing Star Trek, the role play game, you can buy an Andy. What? Shut up. That I am... would seem logical, Andy. I. No. Oh, no. Yaka stays being knocked over. No, you can't upset me when talking about the figurine, Mark. I think it's smashing. I like it a lot. Oh, we've got some Canorians. Canor has arrived with 159 of his closest friends. Canor, welcome to the show. And Canor viewers, welcome to the programme. You've joined us at an exciting moment mm -hmm. as we are watching the Crendor Invitational. Yes, that Crendor Invitational Grand Final between our boy Davo and um, Pwnbot. And so far, Andy is 1-0 up with no dead elves. Yeah, which everyone keeps reminding me, um, which is um, a shuffle I've getting elves killed, isn't it? Exactly, Dinar. The Zunt Grebo miniature model could be an ogre merchant in a D&D adventure, or perhaps a bard. It could be um, anything, anything you want. And because it's a lot, it's like the dice bag. It's much, much bigger in real life as it looks than it looks in the pictures. So you could use it to hang your hat and coat on if you wanted. No, you couldn't. Um, if I won the lottery, I really, I think I would commission Grebo to to make me an eight foot one of those out of bronze. <laughs> Andy, did you get your sack out earlier and show it to everybody on the stream? <clears throat> um, I did, but um, yeah. What did you pop it on your head or? It's not that large. What your head? Yeah. Uh, sugary oh. chip has just restocked. When is lessons. the zunk miniature in a way? Oh, sugary chip! You also baby. have got the same um, Twitch icon as I do. Uh, How would you get an invitation from Crendor? Um, I don't know. Um, Kenor, were you guys? I don't know if Kenor's actually still here. I'm surprised he's not in this. It's the sort of thing I can imagine. Because Kanoa is a um, he's a big deal. Kanoa must stream. have been invited. Yeah. Yeah, Kanoa's a big noise in the streaming Blood Bowl community. He's pro Do you know what? Kanoa's probably that big, he can go, no, I, no, I don't need to. Well, he just need it, mate. He doesn't need the exposure. Mm. Well, if, I think everyone, you know, e even begrudgingly would agree um, that Kanoa is the biggest Blood Bowl streamer. Mm. Yeah, well, he, he is. is. Yeah. Well, yeah, it just is. Always has been. What's, What's against the term of service? Oh, oh, cyclone! It's a, it's a, it's a dice sack. <laughs> Kano says he was probably invited, but rarely has the time to play games outside of his streaming hours. Uh. See, basically what we said. Hello, Kano. Welcome to the show. Nice to see you. And how's Thursday? Huh? How's Thursday? I don't understand that reference. Thursday the cat. Uh, well, sh sugary chip, that was exactly my question. Um, but apparently it's because we are founder subscribers um, to the show that we subscribed. Um, we were amongst the first 25 people to sub to the channel. And so we've got this icon, apparently. Dino says, you find yourself in a maze. You can leave Zunk behind to make sure you don't walk in circles. I mean, exactly that, Dino. First of the cat's quite meowy. Probably, ch probably tuna cravings, mate. Mm. Andy, you're going to show us your sack again. Cyclone's concerned it transgresses the terms of service, but I don't, I don't think that's a problem. Um, are you going to be able to get the ball back? Um, I think it's going to be a real challenge, this, this ball recovery lark. Mm. Yame hasn't seen your set. Yame, it's something to look forward to. Hang on. Right, let's concentrate on chances of getting the ball back. So, the short night, strength four, currently holding the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I mean, you can get, you can get a blitz on it. And with yeah, a bit of gophering in it, I can see a one dice... 
one dice into two uphill. Uh, and if you're really super dodgy, I can see two dice into one dice. I don't know, Bob. I don't understand it either, because you've been subscribed pretty much as long as me. I don't... Um, it's a mystery. Yeah, I don't know. We, we don't know. <clears throat> There's a misplay there. I found that with my cats, Kanoa, that yes, tuna isn't good for them, but nonetheless, they really, really, really like it. And also them being cats, all cats are lactose intolerant, and yet a bowl of cream, you're not going to get the bowl back. The mysteries of cats. Plus, chicken's a bit less convenient, isn't it? Because you don't get tinned chicken unless you work at Nando's and have got, you know, endless supply of it. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm 27. Bob. Yeah, 27. I think you might have had a gap low sugary chip. Oh, you can get tin... Andy, good news. You can get tin chicken. Oh, uh, Is this all ruined? It's not, is it? It's still early enough in the half that you can let him score and recover the ball for 2-1 in the final quarter, right? Yeah, it's, it's not ideal. Oh, hold on. Kano says you get the badge if you're amongst the first. It's not based on who's subscribed the longest. So, sugary chip, you might have had the odd gap, like when you when you went to um, Guatemala for a couple of months, for example. Shatter dice! Hello, mate. Good to see you. Are you well? It has been a while. Good to have you back. I think it might be that. So, as best as we understand in then it's timing of just the earliest date not necessarily the longest right well sugary chip you're the only other person i've seen with that icon so you and me bruv you and me hi dr nick <coughs> our stuff down the surgery Well, I assume this game goes down to uh, overtime, by the way. Do you think that you will get held off so it'll end 1-1 one, one at, at the uh, turn 16? Mm, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know is the answer to that question. Uh, I'm sure. Nick. Well, I mean, look, they, they weren't well anyway, Dr. Nick, so don't beat yourself up about it, mate. Andy, your dice were fine until Zunk turned up. Um... Soz. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I was in such a hurry to get home, I didn't get any food. Not quick and easy food, anyway. Mm. I'm, I'm going to have to order some. Do you know what I could recommend? I think I might have oodles of noodles, because I'm quite peckish. Oodles of noodles made out of poodles. I, I, I haven't had oodles of noodles for ages. It, it is pretty good eating noodles and noodles. Uh, just eat. Just eat oodles of noodles. I am going to just eat oodles of noodles. Made out of. That is the plan. Ugh. Ugh. This is bad. This is a bad turn. This is a bad, bad turn. No, uh, not that. That made one. out of poodles absolutely yeah. great minds I mean I don't think they are probably made out of poodles I mean 50% poodle vegetable uh oh uh oh Making ten traces of poodle. 
Oh. Basket and one rice. Garlic rice. Well, Silk's talking about bollocks, really. I, I struggle to, to focus I'm on a game. I'm buying game. dinner. Yeah, well, buy dinner quietly. Um, I'm going to f concentrate on game of the year here. Um, Fine. You're trying, to, you're trying to play on poodle nearly, noodle doodles. Nearly finished by noodles and noodles. Um, am I seeing star players on the field? You are. There is muchos star playeros. Why did you not take them both down? Oh. That's naughty. There we go. That's done. Oodles and noodles on its way. Right. The game. The <clears> game <throat> of the. Uh, the game of the. Um, what did you say? Year, decade, and millennium. Is it? I thought that was yesterday when you played Sage. Hang on a sec. This is the most important game for literally yards around, isn't it? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, well, the first thing we need to do is bring some players back. So what, what inducements did you face? There was the wizard, I can see a babe, a bribe. What else did you have? Oh, I see he's got uh, Dolphile Longstrider. So what's he all about then? Running around. Kick off return, pass block, kick. He's terrible. What the hell is he? Um, he's a utility player. It's like a poorly wood elf. This I don't imagine we see Dolphar very much. Is he really cheap, elf fans? Yeah, he is quite cheap, yeah. If that didn't have fame, we could surf the ball carrier. Mm. Mm. And he bought a wizard from cash. You've got a bribe as well. Or is that a kickoff result? That's probably kick -off, kickoff result. Kick result. Mm. Well, it's a budget elder, but without the, the key USP of Hypno uh, Vajazzle Gaze. Mm. And without the Vajazzle Gaze, that's a bit meh. What about? What's Capulade? Oh, Did he knock one of the guards? Oh, that's why I can't find it. Um, I can see why Negate would um, um, Negate Griff would have been a pretty good choice. Does anybody know what um, Ownbot is famous for being on the Crendorian Invitational? Is he a fumble superstar or a cross-platform streamer? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slime so out a cup of tea so you can concentrate for a bit and then I'll be good as gold when I come back, I promise. It's Rick Reckless Dark Account. Jack. Oh. That's unlucky. It's definitely not ideal. Mm. Oh, hold on. He's got another star player. Who's that? Oh, oh, Zara. He's full of star players. Absolutely doesn't look anything like Buffy Honest, Your Honour. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. No, Are you thinking about the two-die appeal option? We no. do the jump no, up. I'm, I'm going to do a jump up hit into the movement eight. That's what I'm going to do. I'm contemplating where I'm going to stand. I um, prefer your suggestion, yeah. Good idea. 
It is Dr. Nick. Absolutely jam packed full of star players. Oh, got it now. <sighs> Dare we say, got one. Um, that was exceptionally good move, Andrew. Uh, it was all right. No, that was really good. Apart from the fact you knocked him out, this is a much stronger position than you were in. I like it a lot. Um, the the dividing walls brick negate. I don't think you can hear it. To be honest. I assume they just think my dinner's ready. I'm having um, <laughs> Nando's. What? You can you can get frozen Nando's for you know to enjoy at home, can't you? No. Honestly, I, the amount of shit Nando's gets on this stream, I like Mr. Nando. I'm really really sorry. I'm mean, I assume he's. I, uh, I bet his name was Fernando, and I think it's probably just a clever play on words. Um, I... Or a common truncation if you were actually Portuguese. APB Harlequin, thank you very much for the follow. And welcome to the programme. Um, yes, Nando <laughs> is a, I'd say infamous, but yes. So... It's, it's, like, um, it's like Portuguese Piri Piri, which is good eaten, but McDonald's version of it. So it's been likened to Taco Bell. No, it hasn't. It really has. God. Well, I can I can prove you wrong, Andy. Uh, Nando's is just like Taco Bell. There you go. It has been likened to Taco Bell. It just happened. No. Right. APB, yeah. I'm really sorry. Um, we, we, we've been streaming a while. Well, um, we had a Nando's. Because I feel pretty sorry after I've had a Nando's. <laughs> the only time I ever have them is when they're free with work, when someone goes, we're all going out for Star Wars. You know, party, it's free. You know, God. Could I pay not to have Nando's? No. No, you bloody can't. You'll, you'll like it as well. Um, <laughs> so really, what happened was um, I were talking a long time ago about restaurants that are all right. Yeah, restaurants that I think, that's, that's, that's quite No, we enjoyable. weren't. It was quite no, enjoyable. we weren't. No, we weren't. That is not how it was framed. How it was framed is we were having a great conversation on the show about what's the finest meal you've ever had. No. And various people in the chat were talking about that little bistro that they went to or that Michelin-starred place in Paris just off the Champs-Élysées or that time they were in Hong Kong and or had some Kobe beef in um, Osaka. And then Andy's just said Nando's. The finest restaurant you've ever been to ever. And so it was that that then led to the, what, you mean the overpriced microwave chicken and oven chips place? 15 quid for a plate of sadness. That. So, anyway, back to the blood bowl for, for, for a laugh. We'll, we'll... You started it. I wasn't talking about Nando's. See? Now all the Brett's are shouting. That, that's... Um... Oh, yes. That's Bretonian for Nando. <laughs> exactly, Josh. Nando's is overpriced, overhyped, underdelivered, and in all ways awful. So let's or, not go there then. Or none of those things. Look, Andy, I want to talk about the Blood Bowl. This is the most important game for literally minutes, and we've got to talk about it. Puppy ciao bello. could really use a cup of tea. Well, let me oh, you. It's done with love, though, Herr Vuick. As we've established, and, and, he's, and he's smashing. He's just got the palate of a five-year-old. <laughs> um... 
Andy, lobster thermidor or chicken nuggets? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I bothered asking. No one, no one even likes lobster fucking thermidor. Dauphin wild potatoes or lobster uh, fries? Lobster thermi thermos. It's rubbish, isn't it? Um... Put porterhouse steak or fingers crispy pancakes? Whatever flavour you want. I don't even like crispy pancakes. They're awful. <gasps> Profiteroles or a tub of Ben and Jerry's? Oh, Ben and Jerry's. That's not, that's not even up for debate, is it, really? Dom Perignon or Fanta? No one even likes Dom Perignon. Glenlivet or a bottle of warm little cola? <laughs> no, no one likes warm cola. Shut up. Actually, that's not accurate. We were. We were. Do we know anybody who likes warm own brand supermarket cola, ideally when it's gone flat? Do we know anybody like that? Are you implying that we were likes that sort of nonsense? Not quite, but you're close. Lobster tastes like slimy chicken. Ugh. <laughs> Kittens with fluffy mittens likes flat cola. Um, we was dad um, famously likes um, flat cola. The, the the cheaper the better. Really. You would like profit rolls. This just has got a bottle of Glen Livy in the fridge. Why is it in the fridge? Mm. You don't need it in the fridge, unless you're hiding it. Yeah, maybe he's hiding it. Jenny says microwave Coke. No, no, what she actually said was microwave Coke is good for an upset stomach. Is it? Well, it'll make you forget about your upset stomach, Jenny, for sure. Terms of service, something, something, but um, partly round gens later. Panda pop, I remember panda pop. It's bad for your panda pop. We can put whiskey in the fridge to hide it as long as you take it out and let it return to room temperature before consumption. Well, ooh, now, whis ice in whiskey, that's contentious. There are certain quarters that that's... I think the official, official, official version is you can have one ice cube, if you must, but no more. But no, as you respect that. I mean, Glenlivet, what a drink. I'd love Glenlivet. It's bad for you. No, it isn't. Ah, this one actually is. Glenlivet is not bad for you. You're not compared to milkshakes. And you like milkshakes, don't you? I do, yeah. So. Milkshakes are really tasty. They're a, they're a tasty alternative to milk. James says, what's a thimble? It's a small metal device originally that you, um, one would put over one's finger that were one sewing. It was to avoid you uh, pricking your finger. Think, um, who was that last fell asleep after doing some sewing? Sleeping Beauty, that. Thumbelina. No, that was the little fella Bob. Um, the one that had the, the thing, the spider kept that sat down inside her. Rumble Skiltskin was the lad who um, caused the whole problem in the first place. Mm. But it was Sleeping Beauty, wasn't it, that... Um, Oh, right, so the story goes, Bonnie, Bonnie is princess for yards around something and something else happened and then there was a, all the spinning wheels in the land were broken and smashed and yet there was one somewhere and something spinning out of gold and then there was sleeping involved and real stiltskin was there. I don't really know what I'm talking about, do I? I'm vaguely remembering it. It was a while ago that I had nursery nursery stories. Were they um, were they sort of read on 
tablets. <clears throat> we didn't have uh, iPads or the Android version I was allowed, Andy. There were uh, there were books, though I know what you were trying to do. You just missed it. <laughs> I never. Dark Nut, what the hell? Don't just turn up and start jumping on the bandwagon. Sound uh, grown up. Yes, he's very grown up. Not that old. It's lots of, I know lots of people older than me. Just a grown up. He knows lots of people older than him. He can name both of them on uh, his hand. You're on very thin ice, my lad. Get off! I'm not on thin ice. True. I'm going to have three turns at best to score now. wrong with remembering things. Might need to write it down, but... Hello, Kronos. How are you doing? My Titanic friend. What? Dimi says, why not have tackle on auto? Because if you're trying to surf a play with dodge and would rather push than tackle and you get both uh, defender stumbles, defender stumbles, you want the choice I admit it's 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 rare, it's situational, but that's why. You'd usually go, yeah, I want to tackle them. This isn't very easy at all. I must admit, I I have stuff dodge on auto, but as I've only I was going to say, I've only got one player with dodge. Scratch that, as of last week. I don't, because he's dead as well. <laughs> no, I don't have any dodge players. You should get some junk. They're quite good. He's dead. I should, well, Andy, you can, you can save words in that sentence. I should, should, I should just get some players. Yeah, you will, yes. And hold on to them. Yeah, that works. Oh, Jeff, good point. As a one-turn touchdown, you also might want to uh, turn tackle off. Good, good point. So, there is a two dice on. I think you've been unfortunate not to retrieve the ball because you've had a, a couple of pretty decent attempts. From this position, though, do you feel confident that you can force him into scoring soonish? El Baramo says, is the stream offline? No. Are you having your bottle now? Yeah, My what? Eh? She was watching, so I just... Uh, Emma's having her bottle. Mm. I'm, I'm fairly resigned to it, Cyclone. Fairly resigned to it. I've only lost half the team. The other half are... Uh, Apart from lonely, um, fine, fine ish. I mean, there's some players that are completely pristine and untouched, like we were. It's invincible, also harmless. Oh, Andy, stop rolling ones. You did that yesterday. Too many ones yesterday. Well, I've seen I've seen Megatron standing. And I've seen her stagger a bit whilst holding on to something, so I'm not surprised in the game. She's quite athletic. She can crawl fast. I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. Fair turn of speed. <clears throat> yeah, she's rapid. I don't think what's about to happen is going to resolve it, Panda. I, I'm either... 
there's going to be a touchdown imminently and Andy's going to um, push for a turn 16-2-1. Or Andy's going to prevent the equaliser. Um, or it goes into overtime. These are the three scenarios, and I'm I'm thinking two one and turn sixteen is my gut feel tells me. So, what do we just do? Then we attack them now. Good. So yeah, so it's a one in nine just to dodge out and score, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, careful, Andy! That one's got a knife. Yeah. Um, we pushed it out in the crowd earlier. Um, the crowd said it was fine. Well, you do, right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, is he out of APOs now? Oh, he is. I uh, think he is. Did he have a bunch? Uh, he had an extra one. <coughs> Hello, Mumbo. Okay, Sunshine, you have... Three. Three turns in which to score. Mambo, hello, buddy. It's it's mm, on track, I would say. So we've got a dead and a injured Bretonian, and and a super fast sure hands ball handling blitzer off the pitch, and Andy's just missing Rich's T still. Is there a blitz incoming? No. <laughs> no, there isn't. Yeah. I hope not. I hope not. I mm. glass glassed your tea. It's it's been said before and it'll be said again. Yeah. Um actually talking of saying things again, uh, for those mm. of you who've come in from other shows or are watching this from different places. Um, Remember to like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe oh, to YouTube, YouTube, isn't it? Yeah, YouTube, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we, um, we, I say me, uh, have done quite a lot of guide videos recently. Um, videos plural, because I have actually done more than one. And they are on our YouTube. And I was supportive. Yeah, yeah you were very supportive. And on top of that, we've also um, done... Uh, what else a necro there? guide. A necro guide, yeah. Necro guide's on its way. Uh, there's a stadium guide. There is a wood elf guide. There is tabletop rides, and there will also be um, things like the art of blocking and defensive and offensive setups coming very soon. Very soon. Um, oh, yes. Very soon. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't seen it, go and check out our YouTube. Someone will uh, YouTube it. There, I'll do it. There we go. Woohoo! It is. is there a Nando's guide? Yes, it <laughs> just says don't, and then gives you a map to the nearest KFC. No, we don't. What's happening so far? Well, I was a bit late getting in, Ella Rambo, so from half-time onwards, um, Andy scored in turn eight, um, and you've just seen the equaliser. I think that pretty much brings you up to speed. Got a dead Bretonian. He was a bit too shouty, but um, we found a way to stop him yelling. It's not a good thing, Zach. Oh, and Mambo, thank you very much for the research. Cheers, buddy. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Nice. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if anyone does watch the YouTube videos, there is a request I've got for you all, uh, which is that um, if you enjoy the content, just press a like, like please. Press like. It's press really like. important that you press like. Yeah. Really important. <gasps> It wasn't a blitz. It wasn't a blitz, Davo. It was not a blitz. That is a good thing. No blitz. That's fine. That's fine. Do you see how much I'm supporting the YouTube channel? Yeah, you did a really good yeah, job, actually. See? Well done, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Alba Rimbo likes the YouTube, don't you, Alba Rimbo? I've put him on the spot there. He drove three hours to get rid of Hernando's. What? I mean, there can't have been a skip nearer. <laughs> Twat. Is there going to be a human guide? Yes. Don't hold your breath. Yes, no. Uh, there, probably, there probably will be. It, it's just, it took 
two years to get the Wood Elf guide out, and we're six months waiting for the Necro guide, which is nearly done. <laughs> Do you know what? Right, the Necro guide is actually finished, um, and then you're not going to believe this. <laughs> you lost it. No, I didn't lose it. I did what it worse. Um, Deleted it. No, 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 no. My um, my video editing software went. <clears throat> You've had this for a year now. I'm afraid you have to pay for it if you want to use any more. And the one feature they've taken off me, the one feature is to take the stuff that's written in its file structure and turn it into um, an MP3, which I can actually bloody upload to YouTube. Um, How much you have to pay? Like 60 quid or something. It's, How much? I know. It's not even like a little bit. So the Necro Guide is there, finished, in a completely unusable format. It's worse. Ugh. Oh, hold on. Skuro had one of those icons that says first 20. Skuro, didn't notice that before. Welcome. Welcome back. And have you seen the new icon we've got, mate? So, yeah, it's worse than that. Effectively, the dog did eat it. What, Nando's? No. Good boy. Oh, hello. Is that the vet? Yes. The dog seems to be seriously ill. What, you, you think he's come down with chronic disappointment? <laughs> yes. <coughs> no. That's actually a really good perfect defence from him. Um... I, Jack, I estimate this will take about 20 minutes. I can't hear what you're saying. Me? I'm not saying anything. No, what's being said in the background. Oh, you mean this old thing? Skuro! <laughs> Thank you very much. So we've, d we've discovered mm -hmm. that you, me... And, oh gosh, who was in yellow with it before? It was talking to just minutes ago. We don't know. Who else had got one? I've forgotten. Sugary chip, thank you, Yang. You, me, sugary chip, Skiro. No, it's it's been substituted in the gate. This is Twitch has um, bestowed this upon us. It's instead of. Just think, ten years from now, this will mean something. What? Having the um, the first sub icon, like in ten years from now. Um. How can you hate Austrian food? Did you try schnitzel, Andy? Oh, what a fucking disaster! Who thought that was a good idea? Didn't you like? Didn't you like schnitzel? Schnitzel's no, great. Awful. What? Venus schnitzel or, or just pork askelop or chicken askelop? Fucking disaster schnitzel. Why? Why? It's not really nice, Mark. I bet I outlive you. You're Scottish. Uh, Statistically, I'm nailed on. No, but I mean, was it the the, the veal escalop or because you can you can have sort of pseudo schnitzel with? Um... Oh, you 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 drove three hours to get Nando's in Austria. <clears throat> go, 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 go. Got one. Where did you get your Nando's from then? Uh, I didn't. I wasn't allowed. So, what did you make a schnitzel? Um, not my favourite. I really like it. No. Well, I do, but what, what did you not? Was it? Was it the veal version? Um, it was right. Megatron can't believe you don't like schnitzel. It's so, brilliant. so I had, I had a, a schnitzel, and I, to be honest, I was really excited about whatever it was going to be, um, because mm. it's food, um, and um, what they did with it was 
I, I so I no. Let's start at the beginning of the well, story. I know what it is. It's really nice. I, I know, like right? Let, let me let me explain. So this is mm -hmm. this is expectation. Expectation. Open the menu. Um, Emma, you're being rather loud. Megatron, shush, man. Um, Get her on the show. That cheers her up. She does cheer her up, actually. Yeah. Yeah, um, go on. Get Megatron. We'll come back to it, Alarambo. Alarambo, don't worry about it. We're just going to do with Megatron for a sec. We'll oh. pick. We'll pick the story up in a moment. Oh, it was a kapow roll. Um, hey, Pyro. Hand in, but it was just, look. It, it basically, it was just a massive disappointment on a plate. So, what was wrong with it? Was it? It was pork escalop in breadcrumbs, right? Right. Well, okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. So, yep. I went to a restaurant um, with um, just a second. Bloody hell! Go and get go and get Megatron. That'll, we need to cheer her up by putting her on the show. Sorry, viewers. One moment. Um, stream mascot is kicking off. We've just got to go and fetch it. Won't be a minute. Bear with. What was up with the breadcrumbs? Because breadcrumbs are breadcrumbs, right? And schnitzel is good eating. I really like it. Schnitzel what, what is what gave rise to... Um, um, oh, I've forgotten what it's called. Chicken parma from Teesside. <laughs> Fina schnitzel gave rise to Western culture. It's a famous dish, right? See, there you go. One baby not screaming her head off. Hi, Megatron. We were Palmos are not ranked. Don't be weird. Palmos excellent. What was Megatron kicking off about before she came on the show? Andy, you're muted. Hello. I was muted. Sorry about that. So you didn't like the breadcrumbs element? Oh, what a disaster. Why would people cover stuff in bloody breadcrumbs? What is wrong with you all? Like, nobody likes that. It was a disaster. It was an unmitigated, complete, total disaster. But breadcrumbs are great. No. You like fish fingers? Yeah, but that's fish fingers. That's nice. Breadcrumbs? No, it's not. So you'd rather have fish fingers than Wiener schnitzel. What? <laughs> nice little exchange from the northern lads there. For those of you not familiar with the area, we were from Newcastle and said he's worked in Borough. I'm 100% right. Only one place has ever done a nice chicken parmo. Pendo, who's from Teesside points out that nobody works in Middlesbrough. It's an, it's an unemployment black spot, the like of which. But it is the birthplace of chicken parma. I can't, we were, I can't believe that you don't like chicken parma. Everyone likes chicken parma. It's brilliant. Nope. Not you, we were. No, I don't like it. Well, I worked near the train station as well. What road was it called, we were? Mm. Yeah. You don't get it from a kebab shop, you idiot. You buy chicken parmo from, like, a smart pub or a restaurant kebab shop. I mean, what do you expect? It's a bloody kebab shop. It's going to be a bit ropey, isn't it? No, get it in a pub or a restaurant, mate. This is going to be fine, by the way. Um, it is if I make these two go for it. You will. Are you are you ostering yourself, Alvaro? No. 
Oh, it's from the UK, I think. Um, right, so anyway, I, I open the menu. Yeah. Um, well, Canara, it's like, it, you know, it's, it, it's axiomatic that chicken parmo is brilliant. I, we was clearly had some sort of blow to the head. Was that Megatron helping? Yeah. Plovatch has arrived with a raiding party. Plovatch, thank you very much. Pozdrav Briadalio and welcome, Plovatch viewers. You join us at the climax of the Crendorian Invitational, and it couldn't be closer at literally 1 1. Yen says, let's great. make it interesting. Can Megatron do turn 8 for you? 16. <laughs> uh, no, it's against um, the Crendorian Invitational rules. You can't have someone else play for you. Oh, right. Otherwise, we could have. Can we have this for a minute? We, we were. Like, like we said, don't you don't eat a kebab shop unless you want a kebab. <laughs> blam, blam, blam. Blam, 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 blam. Blam, blam, blam. Blam, blam, blam. <laughs> blam, blam, blam. Big round of applause. What's she clapping for you? Yeah? Exactly, Kano. Schnitzel is... Absolutely top eating. Oh, God. Did you have um, did you have good stuff with it, Andy? Were you able to eat the um... right? It was basically breadcrumbs. Um, yes. Um, salt um, and disappointment served on one plate. I was just how how do you get? But it's so wrong. Schnitzel's great. I really like schnitzel. <clears throat> I'm mostly shocked about schnitzel. Canole, what are you shocked about? That I don't like it? Maybe it was in a bad place. I think Alba Rambo's onto something. Did you go to somewhere that was a terrible restaurant? Um, um, Helgen was there. Helgen, explain the quality of restaurant. Emma, go ra ra ra, ra ra ra. Oh, you're not talking. It's really fun when you talk. She's watching this. She's actually she's actually watching Twitch chat and not the game. Yeah, well, <laughs> me too. <clears throat> Sorry, the game. This is a really important game that I should be watching and helping you dissect. Well, I've, I've deduced it's probably going to be fine. Uh oh. Maybe. Maybe. So had nobody had a word with the good restaurateurs of Dornburn to say, by the way, there's a couple of thousand hungry young folk. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> a couple of dozen hungry, um, a couple of thousand hungry young chaps coming. You might want to open a restaurant this weekend. All right, well, we scored. He needs to score it. He needs to score now to tie it up. Are you doing this noise? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Running away, are we? Panda's asking the question on everyone's lips. Is the one turner a reality? Uh, I think it's this dude that's knocked no. out. I think it was that dude that was knocked out. It is that dude who's knocked out. I th no. he got... yeah. oh, did my... Abble, abble, abble. No, that's the vampire's pet. This, this is the Dark Elves, different team. Uh, Megatron's getting confused on it. She's not she's not a talented veteran broadcaster like uh, me. She doesn't even know what team we're watching. Disaster. <laughs> what what you, where's she clapping this? <coughs> I'm guessing she's enjoying something. What what is it she's liking? Uh she's found some paper. Just stuff. Yeah. Ah, she's writing a strongly worded letter of the times. Oh no, hold on, it's the Christmas list. I think I think there's something to say. Dear Santa, I've been nice. Please can I have a pony? <laughs> no, 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 no. Thanks. No, no, no. 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 Oh, oh hello. Bus. Ah. Please can I have one chicken and tuna pizza? That's not enough people on the line of scrimmage, Davo. Put more on. This is quite 
Emma, did you know you're quite distracting? Here you go, have this back. Stop it. <laughs> Small child. I love you dearly, but you are being distracting right now. strong defense. Do I need another tackle in here? I don't need a tackle in. Oops. So that's, that's five, so that'll be fine. <coughs> yeah. There we go. So am I. Go one, two, three. Rack. <laughs> Is it not going to clean the bad place on the line? Um, no, not really, because uh, it's the happiest time of the year. Right. There we go. Emma doesn't want a pony, she wants a bull. No, 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 no. Uh, the sidestepper got KO'd on about turn three or four and we never saw him again. Papa! Ah! There's something on the floor. I didn't get wontons. No, didn't oh, order wontons. Shit, what's that from? Yeah. What the shit is, why not? Um, if I suddenly disappear off camera, um, it might be because Emma's managed to take a bolt out of my chair. Um, so I don't know how she's done it. Um, what? Well, have you given her a what? No, she's a, pulled it she out. got what my little spanner and started disassembling it or something. No, it's just. Baz, that's a bit unkind, visiting hour. <sighs> oh, snowing. Snow way. Um, by the way, probably congratulations, or after yesterday's game, <laughs> hold on. Is it? Um, if any of you missed uh, yesterday's semi-final for this game, um, it, it's totally worth a watch on the YouTubes because um, probably the most exciting game of the year that you've streamed. Um, yeah, probably one of. Um, and I'd say it, I'd say it wasn't it wasn't quite quite up there with an Aryan CCL win from uh, eighteen months ago. But it's it's there. But it's it? close. Congratulations, old son. Woohoo! There we go. In our in our rookie vanilla season, we managed to win the Crendorian Invitational. Um, well done, mate. Thanks very Ezra. much. Uh, it was the one versus the Sage Ex my beard. Yeah, so yeah. two titans of the streaming community. <coughs> yeah, it was good. It was a good game. So. Um, do you like Chinese food, Andy? Uh, a lot, yeah. We should consider having this next time you're over. Is it full of full of poodle, though? Huh? Is it full of poodle? No, it's beef. Oh, okay. Beef. Um, we do chicken as well. So, there we go. Right, final team roster for this team. Um, that's what it looked like. And that was after 11, 12, 15 games. So we played 15 Congratulations. games. Congratulations. That, that's an amazing team for 15 games old. That's like a season and a bit in Rebel. It's not. It's, it's, it's a season plus the four playoff games. 
the um, if you play the uh, the little uh, thingy thing, plus the f uh, eleven games a season, that is you could have you could you too could own this team after one season of Rebel. Imagine that. We should give it away as a prize. <laughs> it's a thirteen-game season in Rebel. Oh, actually, I, hang on. Give me two more games. I get two more games to buff this team a bit more. So, um, I don't, yeah, that it's partly really lucky rolls um, and partly um, <laughs> star player point generation. Manatee asses and stuff. So, yeah, um, stats for this team overall. So we scored 46 passes in 15 games. That's an average of three passes a game. Um, and we scored 33 touchdowns. Uh, and we also scored 25 cows. So we picked up a lot of star player points in that. In that, um, But we were lucky that very few players actually ever died because we were playing against well, lots of other rookie teams. Not many better lucky died. than good, eh? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Hi, blow batch. So Helgen won his clan match. Oh, congratulations, Helgen. Oh, it's Twitch playing it. What's it doing? It, seem, it seems all right here, but I, I bet it'll be buggered in parts, is it? I think so. 